Before the show began, Darren Nevada announced to the crowd about it's been unfair to see guys like Johnny Shiko, Joe Lennick, and himself bleed for this promotion and get nothing in return for it. That before even beginning this group, he was reading up on Greek mythology. It was impressed on what the human minds could create. But one of the most intriguing things of the time, he said, was Zeus. He said Zeus did a lot and was the forefront of many stories and explanations of what happened at the time. The one thing Davin said he took from all this was Aegis, the shield of the gods, and that now, that's where he intended Shiko, Hellenic, and himself, and anyone else that was willing to fight back to become a shield. Yeah. Here we go. Davin Nevada all by his own here for the most part in this one-on-one -on -one match against this man. Alexander Johnson. And Johnson would love to get a victory here. A big one it would be for this man here. You don't usually get to see him on pure intense wrestling too often, but when he's here, he makes the best of it. This guy is damn good in the ring of what he does, but at the same time, he's on a one-on-one -on -one match against Davin Nevada. Sure, but with the other two staying on the outside, being Joe Lennox. And Johnny Shiko, I mean, that's got to be something to have on the back of your mind. Let's just say that. Anyway, with no nonsense to say, these two are going to get it going. You know what's going to be happening. A little small commercial break here, then we'll come right back to it. Don't you guys dare click away. Welcome with the pre test wrestling. Down not on one side, Alexander Johnson on the other. Yeah, the assurance policy, I'd say, that these two are on the outside, being Johnny Shiko and Joe Hellenic. And it's been that way for, it seems like it's been that way for the last, oh, couple weeks now. We saw everyone out come out and start attacking, just start attacking people. And then last week we just saw Johnny Shiko and Joe Lennick in a tag team match. I mean, they, they definitely held themselves together for sure. Oh, chopped to the chest there. Chopped to the chest again. All right, back into the hook and the light and the collar and elbow tie there once again. This time, Alexander Johnson with the go behind. Oh, no, way too, I spoke way too damn quick. Johnson trying to get something going here. Snap mirror nicely done. Right back into it. You see Psycho just as crazy as always all over the damn place. Big time knee to the spine, and there's no, not enough gear to catch you off with that one. Throw ups he goes. Oh, broke us collide. Japanese arm drag. And you think Davin Nevada will be quick enough to see that kind of coming? Oh! Oh! oh. Michinoku driver there, but doesn't hook the leg. Keeps the pace going. Like, it keeps the pace going at this pace right here. Then it draws a little bit quicker on the most exchanges than a guy like Davin Nevada. Davin Nevada is definitely a very quick individual and definitely one of the most athletic individuals here in Pinterest Wrestling. But still has, when it comes down to it, he's no cruiserweight. He's definitely a, a smaller guy than, you know, let's say, a, 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 you know, Johnny Shaker or Joe Lennick. Where's that all lead to? Oh, if you can't get the pace over, go like Alexander Johnson, big time. Springboard Moonsaw almost flying through the air there that one moment. In a way, like I said, insurance policies on the outside will make sure that this thing does not go in the favor of his opponent here. You know, they'll try their damn darn is oh. At the same time, what's the plan when it's all said and done you have three guys that are gunning for what you can't all be gunning for for championship gold but that seems like to be david nevada's mo is to just say hey we're gonna go for championship gold and whoever wants to stop us you can damn near try but i'm not letting it happen need does not let it happen either oh missed that drop kick show back elbow there flat liner gets all of that one I can get, definitely get back inside. You know you have time, but at the same time, the time goes by so quickly you can't even call it. Either way. So Johnson's found his way back into this match for the most part. Not so for a brain buster or something here? No. Oh, that breaker there. You see Shiko ready to make a move. The second that, that, that time is called, the second he feels something is a little wrong, something is a little off. And Davin on dummy can recess the count. Oh, hits right after that leg. Gonna be trying to slow down Johnson here altogether. Clobbering shot right there. Get something going. And maybe, like I said, it may be just smart for him to hit that leg. Knock it out for the moment. Watch out. Big time knee across the skull. We've seen him doing it many times before. 
Looks like the first fall here could be it. Referee one. Only a one after all that. Johnson finds a way to kick out at damn near one. Here comes Nevada. Regardless, oh, went for that leg again, but no, misses all of that one. Looks right into the eyes of his opponent. Northern Life Suplex once again gets all of that one. Over the bridge this time to... Oh! Johnson on his A game, ready to death. Flying clothesline there for, sorry, flying clothesline, loves to hit it, loves to hit it, can he get it though? Oh, he got all of that one, feeling it here, feeling it here, could be it, looks like once again, could be it, run, two, no, Davin hasn't been at 100%, you can see on the outside, those two judging his every damn move, saying, if you're gonna move, if you wanna leave this thing, well, you better showcase something, you better show us that you can do better, and right now, oh, as good as Davin Nevada is, he's being outnumbered, and not outnumbered, he's being outdone here. Oh! Oh my gosh, and has him seated! Has him damn seated right there! Oh my gosh! Nothing nice about it. He was seated in that corner there for the moment. That's where you don't want to be. He's on the, on the bad side of the spectrum. We have Nevada coming at you like this. Form shot. Looking at what he can do, looking at what he can what he can put in right here. He's gonna put it in. Oh, he put him down to size. Face buster there. Well, one after all that. These two on the outside. Almost in them in sync at this point. Ready to know. Ready ready and knowing that. Oh! Their boy has this match in the bag. Look at this. Oh, back elbow right there. Sets up with a jumping flat liner. May have, may have all of it right here after all that. These two keep it going. It seems like Avada has turned this thing back around ever so quickly. Watch this. Big time truck of the spring, but didn't have a lot of space. May have may have mattered more than enough to get something going here. And speaking of getting something going here, goes for it all. Frog splash right to the he's some trying to open the knees. He got a little more air time than he expected. He think he did. At the end of the day, sure that mid-session may be a little bit hurt from Avada here after all that. But hey, those knees will definitely take a lot more damage. The higher up is gonna definitely do the same as those knees. Right now, those knees have been taking work. And right now. Avada setting up. Buckle bomb in the corner and he got all that one. Camera angle, beautiful there. Avada, no dummy by the slightest. Ready to make something work. Ready to make something work here. Let's see what the man can do. Chop to the chest. Guess I'm trying to go set for something. Let me have a snap mirror or something of that sort here. Had none of that. Look at this. Oh, I don't know what the hell you call that, but this could be it. That could damn near be it. Look at Johnson now. Ready to make work. Ready to make things work here. Look at this. Tosses them back. Sets up, roundhouse kick to the chest, opens him up for big moves. Big moves could be it right here. And speaking of big moves, what's that like Janet Johnson's next move? Uh, look at the leg here. Two, no, and throws that shoulder bit two. Your credit where credit's due, these guys are still staying in this thing. You saw before this, they, 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 Davin Nevada named this thing Aegis. And right now, this group, this shield of three, oh! their first fall here but no not having it big time tiger suplex there and only on one johnson not slowing down but at the same time neither is dab nevada nevada right back on it oh he waited too damn long got him in the face they made the mistake big time elbow across the throat right there almost oh no Oh gosh, oh, you see him cock back that form. Another one there. That one knocked him for a, a loop for the moment. Tosses him over the ropes. Camera getting all this here. You saw it zoom back to see all the action here. These guys are on their A game. Now you see, oh gosh. Trying to get a first person view of this right here, big time. Suicide dive to the outside, my goodness. Feeling himself here, yes he is. Cross from this is awesome. Yes, the hell it is. And Johnson's still fighting back after all that. You got to credit where his credit is due. Look at him. He made a mistake. You saw. You saw him looking at. Oh, the wrong guy. You saw him looking at the wrong guy. He made the mistake. Not paying attention. Watch your head. Oh, my gosh. Protect your neck, ladies and gentlemen. And down about to the stop. Here's that Phoenix star so damn beautifully. Could be it right here. Referee. One. Two. Oh, and throw that shoulder bit too. Maybe he didn't get it all out, or, or, or maybe just Alexander Johnson wanted to, to, to say, "Hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna push this. I'm gonna push myself out of this and keep myself going." We'll keep this going. Cross body right there, down the bottom, going for looking like again. Could be right here. One, two, only a two again. 
you know, the, the eyes of, of Vadi. You didn't really get a chance to see it, but from the side, you can, I'm telling you, this guy is wondering what the hell are you going to do next? Speaking of doing next, look at this. Oh, Blue Thunder Bomb right there. Modified Blue Thunder Bomb could be it right there. Two. No. Draw kick to the back of the head. It's not a lot of strikes, not a lot of grappling here. Not that these guys can't. Not that these guys can't. But it's a different story when you get the chance to get things going. It's a different thing when you, when you just have it. And when you just have it, you, you know you can go for some strikes and stun someone up. And you saw that last shot earlier on before we went for the outside suicide dive. Oh, that, st that stunning shot. Well, it could have been all it. Oh, look at this again. Again sets him up. Oh, it goes for it all. Now looking at looking at what's going on here. Avada with a kick. The hell is he going for now? Avada just threw himself to the top. And goes for all. Oh, watch this. Watch this. Oh, Falcon Arrow from the top. Could be in here on Johnson. Referee one, two, no. What do you need to do? Ladies and gentlemen, this is Pure Intense Wrestling. This is the opening match, and it's just been nothing but amazing. And now, off the ropes, he goes again. Go! Try to go for those legs again. Realize that missed. Realize that missed. Shots right there. Look at this. He's going for it. Gut poke! I thought he was going for a gut buster instead. Got him with a kick. And Dab, no stupid, no dumb man by the slightest. Realize what's going on here. Went for the jump. Oh, he got on the back of the head. And now Johnson went back to the top again. Johnson went back to the top again. He may have all of his get this frog splash. Look at all of it. He got all of that one. Close the leg. One, two, no. Oh my goodness. Johnson almost had that. Now you gotta focus, Johnson. You got everything in the bag. Keep the keep your brain power on hundred. Keep your faces on the stun and keep it up. Look at this. No oh, gun with that elbow. Look at this. Look at this. No. Avada cut him off. Avada cut him off. Oh my god, that kick to the side of the head. Well definitely do you in. He got all that to that chest this time. Avada playing no games. Ready to make sure this one damn it be over right here. Super kick right across the head. My goodness, are you kidding me? Avada looking at it with the damage he can do. Snaps across the chest. What the hell is this? Whoa, out of nowhere, did he just curse stomp him? This could be right here. Referee, one, two, three. This one is over. Where the hell did he pull that move from? I've never seen him do that before. Holy shit, they would. He just pulled out a damn. You saw him aiming for the head pretty much the whole match. If it wasn't the if it wasn't the the head, it was the knees. Trying to slow him down so he couldn't do moves like that fast match he hit earlier on. Enough resiliency to stand and watch this. Sorry, we didn't get a chance to see if that full replay there. But he kicked him so hard he was practically seated in the corner. And speaking of being seated, nothing but that spawn hitting that corner once again. Watch this back and forth here. Kick right across the chest. And he's still on the outside watching every single thing that's going on. Watch this again, another angle beautifully done. These guys had nothing, nothing but want to win in this match. And if I tell you anything, is if you believe you me, if someone has a plan, it's Davin Nevada. I don't know what the hell he's planning on doing, but I'll tell you what. If he can produce matches like this, he doesn't even need those two on the outside. What a match, man. Holy shit, nothing, nothing to lose in this thing. These guys went all in. These guys went all in. Ladies and gentlemen, these guys went all in. Either way, we got some more action. When we return here, the appearance test wrestling, don't you dare click away. I'll tell you why. One returning Pure Intense Wrestling star is coming back from Crash of Man Pro Wrestling. And the other side of the stretch of me, I have one that has never been here before, at least not to my knowledge. Anyway, with that being said and done, these two are going to get it going. Up next, we return here to Pure Intense Wrestling. Don't you dare click away. Welcome back to Pure Intense Wrestling, ladies and gentlemen. That last match was insane, man. I mean, the stuff you saw, 
He just can't make it up. But speaking of someone you just can't make up, this is Ken Matsuda. Now, Ken Matsuda in the last few years has not had a great track record. He's had his matches here and there where he's beat the hell out of someone. And I really want to see this guy at another at another level. I really want to see this guy just beat the fuck out of everyone. I honestly do. He's so good. This guy is so damn good. You can't make this shit up. This guy is so good. And he made his way to Crash Man for wrestling, and he really didn't find any success back over in Japan, his home country. He didn't find any success back over there. And, and, and anyone would tell you, anyone with, anyone with a bright mind in wrestling will tell you, any, any person who's seen a fight before will tell you, Ken Matsuda has the tools to be one of the best, and they may be unstoppable. This guy is good, and there's a reason why he's here in Pure Intense Wrestling. There's a reason why he's in Crash Man for wrestling. There's a reason why he's all over the world. He's world renowned. It's because... That go to sleep will take care of it so quickly. Yeah, you think about guys like PJ Vice who now just have been using that. Well, what do you think he got it from? He got it from this guy, watching this guy's tapes way back when. And sure, Ken Matsuda hasn't been doing it maybe any, maybe any longer than PJ Vice, let's say. But for the most part, Ken Matsuda is no slouch. And for you to take that and make it into your own, it shows. But speaking of showing, here's Demon Devitt, a man who doesn't need to show much. And when he gets in that ring, you know shit's about to go down. And speaking of going down, he's gonna try and make it his own. This guy is ready to make moves, and I want to see what moves he makes. And I see on, on, on the split side here. We split the. Oh, you split the. Can I see the going? Can I see this run up the ramp? Oh. Toss them down the ramp. Oof! Look at that jacket may break your fall. Oh! Well, these guys going to something going here. Oh! Four nut shots one of the way. Four shot of his own. And Ken Masuda has been fighting here. It's beginning this thing. Kick to the oh, kick right across the face. Four shot takes him down. Running for him with that. Stomps across the back of the head. And Demon Devin knows he was in a battle to begin with. You're going against Kim Asuda. Whether Kim Asuda wants to play nice or play dirty, it's up to him. And right now, Kim Asuda has all been, all, been about, all about himself as since this match has began. Now we can finally ring the bell. Oh, but I don't know if that matters right there. Takes out that one. He tries to go for a quick lateral press, but no. Hooks the leg. Sorry, my mistake. As ropes he goes. Brings him back. Hurricane Rana. Demon Devon on his A game here, looking at the damage he can do. And Ken, after that attack, hasn't really found a way to get himself back in this thing. Clopping shot right there. Oh, punch to the gut. Oh, and dumps him over the ropes. And outside, these two go. The ring, has, the ring bell has officially rung. Now these two can start getting things going. Right now, it seems like Ken Matsuda has turned this match back around. Oh, stomps right across the chest. That will definitely open you up. Get that jacket off this man. This man came as soon as on his A game. It's definitely a turnaround right here for sure. Later on this week, we uh, Crash Man Wrestling, we have in their pay-per-view. Still not too much info on it, but I'll tell you what, it'll be around. Championships will be on the line, that's for sure. And speed of championships being on the line, we have, some, uh, we have a couple championship matches here tonight. Oh! Pure Test Wrestling Television Championship will be on the line. And the return of King Samoa, our Pure Test Wrestling World Champion. He'll be here to, on, tonight as well. We can't wait to see what these guys can do. That's later on tonight, though. Right now, it's all about Ken Matsuda and Demon Devin. I mean, Devin here in Pure Test Wrestling. I, this, I believe if I, didn't, if I said it before as well. I believe it's his first time here in Pure Test Wrestling. This is the kind of treat me to get, so I wouldn't want to come back either. Right now, you got to realize who you're, who you're taking on. You're taking on Ken Matsuda here. Guy who's no slouch. And if you can get a win over this guy, it'd be huge. Big time drop kick knocks him down for the moment. And right now, Matsuda's just been on his A game. And I want to see what he's going to do next. Oh gosh, if your demon dead may want to move or something or, or oh, no, oh, swat that away. Oh, where was that into that kick? Runs right into that kick. And these two go at it again. Jawbreaker tough as nails. Came out soon with a drop kick of his own. Dropping demon dead on the outside here. And Kemi should have should have been on his. It should have been all oh, right after him. The sense the beginning. Once you see him fall out of ring, he should have been on his ass, on his tail, constantly wasting no damn time, not thinking about anything else besides your opponent in that ring. When he falls out the side of the ring, you you make the ring your own. You make this arena your own, and you capitalize on set opportunities. And speaking of opportunities here, even Devin ready to make things work. Oh, got Buster right there. Kemi Suda definitely felt all of that. And speaking of feeling that, even Devin maybe just done here. Kemi Suda. In trouble. That's what he wants to do. 
Sets it up. Go to sleep? No. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know what I was expecting. What I was expecting to see from him. And Kim has to just maybe done with this match right here. Sets up for Oh, I'm going to sleep of his own. If that was the if that was the case. Whoa, the rope break saves him though. Referee saw the hand on the rope at the last possible second. And now oh, he's gonna kick his face into the damn rope. Watch this. Ready to jump right in there. Watch this. Oh! Oh, right across the face. Let's see if gonna stomp on it. And realize, hey, hey, I'm not doing that. I'm playing with you. He's playing with him right now. He's playing with Demon Devon right now. Demon Devon rolls out of that one. Forearm shot once again, trying to turn this thing back around. The pain has to be excruciating on Demon Devon, but you gotta act like it doesn't hurt for the moment. You gotta act like it doesn't hurt for the moment. That GTS definitely would have done him in if he didn't see that hand on the rope. That's also that desperation. Kim Masuda needed to get a victory here. That put him in that position in the first place. And speaking of positionings here, could have him with a quick fall, but no. Kim Masuda hit that go to sleep. Was ready to end it all. Oh, and ready to, like, damn, they're ready to end it all. But out of nowhere, like I said, that hand on the rope, just because of this, that, that knowledge of that placement, that knowledge, it just shows you where these guys are at in this ring. No shot right there. No side coming. Neck breaker and gets all of that one. Kick to the back. That's what I like to see. These two going out of here big time elbow. They have it looking right into the eyes. Looking from the spine now other than the back of <laughs> Ken Masuda here. Masuda's been trying to turn this match around ever so quickly, ever so slightly, trying to just get a you know, little picks here and there because he knows the biggest pick is that GTS. And if anything, if he hits that, it's all over. Forearm shot to the spine. Ken Masuda takes advantage of set opportunities. Has him on the top here after that form. Demon Devil's taking some damage, and Ken Masuda's been ready to take advantage of this. And speaking of taking advantage of this, oh no. Oh no, 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 big time suplex from the top. German suplex just tossed him off the ropes here. Coming in hot, big time elbow. Wrenching that neck here. He got the referee in the leg, even the head or the leg or something like that. Either way, referee is down. And he's not going to try and take advantage by going outside and getting a step or something like that. He's just going to keep it going. Masuda knows how to keep it going here. Big time power bomb, but no pin necessary. Right now, the self-realization is this. You hitting that knee and being starting this thing to be having the beginning of the end here for Demon Devitt. Right now, Kim Masuda on this. Oh, right where he wants to be. Crossing right across the skull. Could be right here. One, two. No, it's on that shoulder up. How quickly could this match have ended? How quickly could this match have just ended right there? And speaking of ending things right here, Demon Devon may be out of it. Demon Devon may be out of it, but no, we haven't spoke too damn soon. No! That back taking damage there for sure. Can it hurt? I kicked to the spine again. Demon Devon, all pearls coming in hot. You know he wants to. Oh, misses that drop kick. This is a drop kick by mere inches. You see Kim has to look at the side of his uh, on the side of him and almost act like he didn't see it coming and move all the way ever like lightning speed. Speaking of lightning speed, got all the way at that one. Roll up here. Roll up here. One, two. Yeah, so that desperation there from from Demon Devon. I think he realized that oh that go to sleep could have been it. Could have easily have been it. And then Gary drops him. Oh, combination strikes here. Oh my gosh, these punches are gross. Kick right there to the midsection. Shot to the chest right there. Toss him the outside. Even Devin on every cylinder firing right here. Hot combi for the storm, ladies and gentlemen. It's just what it is. Oh no. You're ready to fly! Drop kick takes him down! How the back of your head is not hurting, Devin is beyond me, but I'm not gonna question this guy and the, and the weird powers this guy has at times. We saw when he made his debut uh, back at, what, two years ago at a final bout on how that changed everything for this man and how he changed himself. At the end of it, 
Oh, shot across the head. Dumps him over. And Ken's still in this thing. Ken's still in this thing. And he's not going to slow down. Right now, I've been, I think he's waiting for him to come out. Or, or not. Or not. Maybe think of something totally different then. Okay, Masuda. Oh, Calabria shot to the back of the head. He did not waste any time thinking about that one. Just went for it. Went for it. He could have gone for anything at that point. Demon Dever is hurt. And speaking of hurt, tosses him back in the ring. And Ken now able to turn this thing around once again. Maybe able to get a quick pin here after a clobbering shot to the back of the head. I mean, the head's busted open as well. Two. No. Throws that shoulder up at 2.999. These two are still in it. Or at least expected. These two are still in it. Now's now has him between the thighs right there. Trying to keep... Oh. Maybe some blood circulation from going into the brain. And speaking of brains right here. The brain may be scattered and set up right there. Oh my gosh. No. Oh, power bomb. Trying to hit the back of his head. Almost like that buckle bomb he saw earlier on from Dav Nevada. Maybe that's just what he needs to do. Either way, speed of doing something. Oh. Both guys collide. Oh. He went low. He saw him trying to grab low. And you saw the rotation. Oh. It has his head bounced off that rope there. Sorry. Sorry. His head. Bounce off that back off the rope there after his head bounces off that off that from that form. And speaking of forms right here, going for something totally different than a form. That's what I was trying to say. Big time draw. Okay, we haven't seen that from Devin too, Demon Devin too damn much. When he hits it, he hits it. And speaking of hitting it, he may hit this coup de gras right here. That double foot stump that could be the beginning of the end of this match right here. Waste no damn time. Makes it happen. He just may have it here. He got it at all right there. Could be the that was the first finish we've seen. Could be the last. One, two, three. This one is over. What a match, man. No time to waste. These two are back and forth on it. These two are back and forth on it. I want to see more offense from Ken Matsuda. But the second he got him in that corner and set up that drop kick. Bang. He showed him he can drop kick him too. That single leg drop kicking yeah, has taken out a many. And I mean has taken out a many. Since, his, since he's made it a big thing here. Not only in the, in the States. But it's in Japan as well. We thought that was all it. And he wanted to go for that go to sleep. And the back and forth commenced until he almost got it. He almost got it. But Demon Devis saves himself. The mere moment. And you saw that drop kick be the beginning of the end for it all. Not all the action that we wanted, that I want to see. I know they're not going to catch on the outside. But it doesn't matter. What matters is this. The fact that these two went back and forth. Watch this double foot stomp be the beginning of the end. The first fall to the finish right there. Well, the first fall, my mistake. First fall finisher to end this thing usually these guys are a little back and forth here trying to figure out who's gonna hit the first finisher and then when he hit that it was damn near definitive there was no question about it this man got it done demon debit if you're gonna be here in Pinterest wrestling man you better showcase you better showcase your best because the best are here and they're gonna give you a fight that's for damn sure. Either way, we got some more action for you when we return here to Pure Intense Wrestling. Don't you dick look away. The first championship is on the line here tonight. The Pure Intense Wrestling Television Championship is on the line tonight, for that matter. As Cardiac takes on Scott Mercury. Cardiac's got a couple of victories under his belt. Now he takes on Scott Mercury. Mercury wanted to actually get asked to wrestle Cardiac. He asked to wrestle Cardiac. I don't know if he has a plan for Cardiac. Maybe he just wants to showcase and show that he's better than Cardiac. Maybe Cardiac may just surprise us all and get a victory. Anything can happen here in the world of wrestling. And actually, when that championship's on the line, these guys put their best foot forward. That's for damn sure. Either way, that's up next. Cardiac, Scott Mercury, Princess Wrestling Television Championship. Don't you dare click away. So I love seeing Cardiac in action, man. This guy is so explosive. The way he moves in this ring is intense, man. And he's a perfect definition of what Pintense Wrestling is. Talent, that can get it. Respect, being earned in the ring. I'm sure you can say the same thing about Crash Man for Wrestling, but Pintense Wrestling has a knack about it of putting on matches that just keep the pace going. Something that just, you, you can't get anywhere else in the world of wrestling. I say it all the time. These guys are good. These guys are damn good. And Cardiac being one of the new top, top prospect tournament uh, participants this year, sure he didn't win it. But I think he has a bright future in front of him. A damn bright future in front of him. That's for damn sure. Either way, Cardiac ready to get this thing going. He has an opportunity of a lifetime to take on Scott Mercury of all people. The Pure Intense Wrestling Television Champion. And right now, if Scott Mercury asked to have Cardiac in a match, Either he's been watching the tapes, or he really wants to give himself a challenge. Either way, I don't think Mercury's the kind of guy who's going to watch you 
I think Scott Merrick's the kind of guy that's going to learn you in the ring. He's not going to sit there and watch tapes. He's going to, now that he's a wrestler, you're not going to sit there and watch tapes anymore. Who are you going to watch tapes from? You just go in there and do it. And if someone can do it, it's Scott Mercury. You don't like Mercury by the slightest. A lot of these guys and ladies, all these ladies and gentlemen here, a lot of them don't like Scott Mercury. And I don't think Mercury give a damn if they, if they like him or not. But one thing that Scott Mercury believes right now, two things for the most part, is that he's the man. Well, three things. I mean, we, the list can go on. It, it, Mercury is a list of, of nonsense that keeps on going. He thinks he's Mr. Monday Night. He thinks he's the man that runs this whole fucking thing. He thinks he's a role model. It says it on the back of his gear right there. And right now, one thing that's for truth, one thing that stays true, is that no matter who's been thrown at this man, Scott Mercury, he remains the Pinterest Wrestling Television Champion. And that's one claim that he can keep. That's one claim that he can say until he loses that belt. He's lost that belt earlier this year to Alex Von Claw and had a rematch against him, trying to figure out how to beat him. Asked for a rematch again. Got it back. You haven't seen Von Claude too much going for that championship, but it doesn't mean he can't gun for it again. If you're watching in the back, Von Claude, watch these guys. I really do, I tell you all the time, the younger talent is always going to try and take over. The younger talent is always going to try and do better than the older ones. That's for damn sure. But on one side of the spectrum, you have Cardiac, who hasn't spent as much time as a Scott Mercury has in the world of wrestling. Either way, whether they like him or you don't like him, Cardiac is an amazing talent, man. This guy is so speed. He's all about speed and hitting you right across. It can hit you so quickly, man. He's like a fucking dart. There's not, there's not, a, there's a lot of guys who are quick. There's a lot of guys who are agile. A lot of guys who are athletic. And Cardiac does something special. And on the other side, especially with the pure intense wrestling television champion Scott Mercury, who's defended against an amazing plethora of talent that's been here in pure intense wrestling. And I love to see this guy go all over the damn globe and defend that championship. There's so many people who deserve a shot at that championship. There's so many people that aren't Scott Mercury, and right. Right now Mercury holds that belt on his own. Now gives it to the referee to let to let us know and let the cardiac know that's what he's fighting for. And I'm assuming to let us know, the fans, and let the cameraman know at least <laughs> that we're going for this pure intense wrestling world television championship. These guys are gonna bring the house down. I can't wait to see what these guys can do. Cardiac on one side, Scott Mercury, ever nonchalant as always. These two get it going regardless. Get it on the way. Cardiac Mercury. Lock up there. You saw Cardiac ready to make jumps and instead of stopped himself mid flight almost. We're gonna to go behind here. Cardiac, the quick out of the exchange. Experience definitely goes towards Scott Mercury's favor. Scott Mercury just spending more time in the ring. It doesn't matter how you look at it. Mercury's been on his A game. And look at this. Flips right out of that one. Now, two years ago, or even a year ago, you would see a guy like Scott Mercury do that. You would see a guy like Scott Mercury all about being all over the damn place. Look at the Hazard Cartley on the ropes. They're utilizing the, the ropes here. That's what you gotta do. Nicely go behind right there. Mercury now being wrenched at here, that mid section being wrenched. At it again and again, not giving him a second to rest. But now a nice go behind there for Mercury as well. Throws him down to size, nice and side headlock here. Mercury just oh playing around on him because he can. Oof! Oh, ran right into that form, and that's the experience that Mercury has. Those forms didn't last too long. Swatted that away. Look at this back and forth here. Ducks down over so nicely. Mercury coming in with something. Back elbow. Both guys collide. Sets up. So caught him. He made the mistake. He went for that elbow maybe too early or too late. I can't call it. I can't call what I just saw. You can go back for yourself and see. But the man made the mistake of going for that elbow. And the, the timing was off. Let's just say that. And Cardiac takes advantage of set opportunities moments after that. Mere moments after that goes for that side suplex right there. And now setting up for something big after those kicks to the head. Power bomb something so simple and so easy but something that could really do you in mercury out of the way of that one so for something oh he laid that form into the back of the head hard kicked the midsection and scott mercury so damn quick man kicked to the side of the head that will drop you ever so quickly mercury and with no effort no effort pushes him right over over that quick three. He doesn't want to waste time with Cardiac now. Maybe realizing, hey, this guy may be a little bit more better than I thought. That's giving Cardiac the benefit of the doubt regardless. Tosses him into the corner here. Ducks down over so nicely once again. Ducks down over so nicely again. Just trying to burn Cardiac out. It's something, it's something hard to do. But he can do it. He can do it. Speaking of doing it, big time moonsault off that springboard. Nicely done. We see Cardiac trying to figure out what's, what the hell just hit me. Throws that shoulder up before the referee's hand even touches the mat. Look at this. Mercury just on his A game constantly, but Cardiac turns on the back around. Watch this. Float over. Float over. DDT gets all of that one. 
And Mercury rolls out. Mercury rolls out. And Cardiac should be on his high flying game right now. Ready to dive on the outside. Look at this. These guys waste no time. Whoa! Both guys right there trying to make something, trying to make moves. Oh. Oh, kicks him across the head. That's nothing nice. And speaking of kicks, oh, a drop kick to the side of the head. Elbow right there. And this is where Mercury just takes advantage. When he sees you make a mistake like that, and he realizes his mistake was not as much as, and not as bad as yours, he turns things around. He starts making things work for himself. Oh, clobbering shots right there. No, stop coming. Clobbering shot of his own from Cardiac. Cardiac sets up his own big. Go for that power bomb again. Goes for that power bomb again. What the hell is he up to? Throws him on the shoulder. Show the strength of Cardiac here. Watch this. Oh, that throw taking damage. That throw taking damage, man. Cardiac on his A game. Go for something big. Oh. That one. Oh, both guys collide. Oh, he cut him. He cut him off. That was smart. That was smart. He moved back just by mere inches. Mercury came in like a damn, like a battering ram. Made the mistake right there. Drop rock kick right there, though. Cardiac now to this top rope, ready to make moves. I don't know what the other one wants to go for, though. Oh, shots right there. Cardiac takes advantage now. Monk. Oh, it's no good driver. This could be something simple and easy right here, too. No. Trying to wake up Mercury, but Mercury after that, I don't know what the hell that was. He, he caught him on those ropes there. It definitely stunned him for the moment. Went for a hook and run, I think it was. Makes a mistake right there, though. Tosses him over. Makes a mistake right there. Looks him right in the eye. Looks him right in the eye. What he can do? Says, well, I'll get you, I'll let you get back in. After that, I'm kicking right across the face. And speaking of kicking across the face, tossing him the outside. Oh, he's back taking damage. Cardiac on his A game. At least he was for the moment. Ricky comes right back in. Comes right back in hot. Big time drop kick across the face. And that's what I'm talking about right here. You got it. You got these guys who are just so amazing in this ring. Mixing it up. Making it and matching. That's what I like to see. Respect being earned here. You definitely got to believe that. No matter what anyone says, Mercury definitely has respect for this guy Cardiac here. To ask for a guy like Cardiac is nothing is nothing short of amazing. You ask him for a guy who's so damn new to the world of wrestling, sure, he may be thinking, oh, well, Mercury's been an asshole. Hey, maybe he is. Big time DT. Maybe he is. I don't know. I don't want to speak for the guy, and I refuse to. But I'll tell you what. For him to call him out and say, I want to give him a championship opportunity shows just how confident Scott Mercury is, maybe for one. Maybe it's just confidence. Maybe it's the fact that he really wants to take on Cardiac and, and, and knows that guy at Cardiac. Not that he'll never get a chance. But right now, it's just too, it's just too, oh, he's not as hot as he wants to be. Oh, shot across the head. Shot across the head again. Spikes him with that one. And speaking of spiking him, Mercury just may be out of this thing. Cardiac and Joe oh, has him. Oh, that leg. Shots right there. No, Cardiac fights back in. And Zaguri across the skull, and Cardiac just got cracked there, shot to the chest, shot to the chest, oh, shot to the head, another one there, Cardiac fights back, form shot, nicely done, close line right there, takes him down, another one right there, calf kick right across the chest of Mercury, Mercury feel that one here for sure, stomps across the chest, Cardiac up to, up to no good, you know who he is, wants to maybe want to spike him again, I don't know, instead goes for that, oh, Michinoku, Hooks the leg here, could be it. One. No, and Mercury goes up a one this time. Kick, almost kicking out backward if you think about it. So Mercury just fucks with your brain, man. Mercury fucks with your brain. Oh. And again, you're not catching this one on Mercury. Not that easily. Not that easily. No, you're not catching that too easy. Cardi knew how to get out of that one as well. Maybe Cardi's been watching a few Scott Mercury matches. I'm not too damn sure. Either way, Snapmare. Look at this hammer lock, nicely done. Has that arm locked up here. If you keep this, if you keep taking the pressure away, you use all of your opponent's body weight and use that to elevate it. You have to, then they forcefully, it forces your opponent to use their legs to push themselves up, which is hard when your arm is getting damn near wrenched out of his socket. Either way, Mercury find no struggles with this one. Oh, well, he's had some, but it wasn't in the last that damn long. Who can run a here? Cardiac on his A game, which for the moment he was. Now Mercury on his A game. Big time here across the chip, right across the head. Could be right here. One, two, no. Mercury saying he's ready to kill. I don't know about all that. That is this unnecessary here, Mercury. 
Look at this here. Look at this here. Look at this here. Mercury because he knows what he can do. He knows what he can and can't do. And I'll show it off here. Rope break though. He realized the rope break was there. He still stomped on him just to get the autograph picture signing for a fan in the crowd if there if that exists from Scott Mercury. Let's down once again. Make sure that elbow was point proven this time. Pulls him across, pulls him across, ready to make moves here. Oh! Wasn't able to make the cover. And now he's trying to make he's trying to cover off that cover. Now he's trying to recover off that. And that was a mistake right there. Mercury was hurt. Mercury was hurt. Went for that springboard moonsault that time. Went for the pin right after, but not right, right after. Maybe just a few moments after. And that was the mistake that was made. So we're gonna be made right here. Going for it all. Cross body. Beautifully done. Close to legs. He seems trying to wiggle out of this thing. Two. Oh, throws a shoulder up at two. Cardic on his A game. He's able to A game enough to kick out. Stomps across the. Oh. Mercury looking at what he can do. Is Mercury no dummy? Slides out of the ring. Cardi makes a mistake. Oh, and drop kicks him right into the apron. Cardiac, it made the biggest mistake there after going after Mercury, especially when Mercury's already outside. You have the ring advantage, and you didn't take it. You didn't take that ring advantage that you had. Mercury to the top, Mercury to the top. Dropkick gets all of that one. Gets all of that one. Mercury has him where he wants him. Triangle Boston Crab. The walls of Mercury could be us right here. Could be damn near us right here. Cardi trying to hold on as much as he possibly can. But that, oh, that back is taking so much damage in this match after all this. And what do you do? How do you stay in it? How do you, how do you stay? How do you keep yourself staying in this thing, man? Well, he found a way to get out of that one. Cardi showing some heart here. Cardi definitely showing some heart here. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, back elbow once again. Sets him up. Cardi says no. Clothesline one more time. Hooks the leg. Could be right here. Referee. One. Two. No, and throw that shoulder broke once again. But Cardiac hasn't done too much to Mercury to really get anything fully going here. Look at this. No, oh, and throws him back down. Cardiac to the second rope here. What the hell is he up to? Look at this. Oh, and cracks him. You see Mercury's body fold backward, man. He folded backward. And now Cardiac, you gotta realize this is all you, Peppa. You gotta realize it's all you now. You got everything in the bag. And spikes him with that one again. Go for the pin. You have that. Don't waste time. Don't think about it. Just get it done. Looks like a brain buster. Here he got all of it. Course crew moves on again. Cardiac to the top. Cardiac to the top. This can be championship victory here. This can be victory right in his grasp. This can be victory right in his grasp. He got all that one. Go for the pin. Go for the pin. You see that slight second, that last slight desperation attempt there. No. Mercury threw that shoulder up at damn near one. What the hell is he made of? Big time moonsault there though. Oh, and it kicks him right across the head. Sets up with something. Cardiac fights back. Look at this. Spikes him again. Go for the pin. There you go, kid. There you go. One, two. No. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. He realized. He realized that mere moments by the end of it. This could have all been over right here. And how quickly this match have ended. No. Mercury saw it coming. Mercury saw it coming. Turns him over. Turns him over. It could be the biggest mistake there for Mercury. Desperation setting in. But at the same time, he realizes on the ropes. He doesn't realize on the ropes. He takes it right off. Mercury back into it. Sets up single leg now. And rope break again. Biggest mistake right there was Mercury setting up for that finisher so damn close. And instead of, oh, instead of slowing down, goes up those legs. Make sure Cardiac can't make moves. Kick to the legs right there. Cuts him off for the moment. Knees to the midsection. Sets up. No, Cardiac's not coming. Big time close line right there. Mercury right back up and into as well. Big time shoulder block. Shoulder block again. Shoulder block. No. Mer 
He tossed him over the ropes. Mercury finds a way to climb back up. That back is taking damage big time. Clobber is shot. Mercury trying to get the crowd behind him for the moment. Mercury, no dummy by the ever so slightest, but that back elbow may have done him in. Sets up for something big. Mercury counterbalances that weight. Oh, and catches him on that damn rope. Holy shit, man. You talk about Mercury putting on a damn clinic in this ring. Well, Cardiac's definitely showcasing himself as well. These guys are no slouches, I'm telling you. There's a reason why Scott Mercury asked for this match. Look at this. Arm drag. He got all of that one. Nicely done, man. Mercury wasted no damn time. Sets up for it here. He got all of that one. Close to the leg. Referee, one, two. No, and Mercury, I think he let go. Don't let go, Mercury. But I think Mercury wants to just, oh, damn near humiliate him at this point. Realizing what he can and can't do. Oh, kicks him off. Uh-oh. Mercury was a little off on that one. That kick got him across the head. Big time power bomb again. Mercury not 100. Neither is Cardiac, though. Spikes him again. This time doesn't go for the pin, though. Instead, just keeps the, pay, the pace going. Keeps the pain on. This is championship match for you. This is championship material style matching here. You can't be at this anywhere else. Wants to set up for that. Oh, no. Mercury wasting no damn time. Sets him up. High angle Boston Crab has a knee right place right into the spine. And this one has to damn it be over. Cardiac holding as much as he can, but Cardiac has no choice but the tap. What a match, man. Holy shit, you can't make this shit up. You can't, you can't make it up. You see what these boys were putting in here. You see Cardiac go for that Tiger Fent. Watch that, he cut him off after that one. The back and forth between these two was insane. And damn, look at this, spikes him, bang. Right there. Not once, not twice, I think four times or five times in this match, he got him that Dragorana. These guys showcase and they have a little ego behind them, but they also can wrestle their asses off, man. The back and forth was impressive. I'll tell you what, these guys went back and forth. They like Scott Mercury or don't. You gotta give them credit where credit's due. Cardiac came out just almost as big. Almost came with a big time victory over Scott Mercury. Not, not once, not twice, but a few times in this thing. You gotta give credit where credit's due. This guy is good. This guy is damn good. But, but Scott Mercury with another Big time victory here, and another title defense here on Pintos Wrestling. Either way, we got some more action for you up next, because now we determine who's going to be taking on Scott Mercury, or whoever the television champion is at the time, before the next pay-per-view. Question is, who is it going to be? I'll let, you, I'll let you find out who the participants are in this eight-man battle royale. Think about that. First time ever here in Pintos Wrestling, an eight-man battle royale. Get ready for it. Hip next, here on Pure Intense Wrestling. Yeah. Let's turn this one off strong. Summer main event, Dudley Bateman. Top prospect tournament participant of this year. Of the four British that came through, I really think he's one of the more impressive ones. And that's not to take anything away from the other, four, the other three guys. But he's really good. And there's a reason behind that. He has so much enthusiasm in everything he does. He just puts the effort in. Not to say the other guys don't. That would be mistake. That would be crazy. A crazy big mistake to say. It would be crazy. It would be ridiculous to say that these guys do not put in the most effort. Those British strong style wrestlers are no joke. But that goes to say, I think he's one of the standouts compared to the other four. Three, sorry. <laughs> Again, math, not my best suit. This man's best suit is wrestling, and he does damn good at that. As we're in this eight man contest, we get it going. This we're gonna get it going. Last year's top prospect tournament participant, Gat Reynolds, is in this thing. A lot of guys are going for that pure intense wrestling television championship. And a guy who seemed like he was on the path of that at some point last year, and a little bit this year even, it seems like it was Garrett Reynolds. He got cut off. 
by the returning Duke Wyndham. That could marvelous. Regardless of such, he's here to make something for himself, and he's here to make a statement that he can that he belongs here. He belongs here in the world of wrestling, that he has a reason to be here. That just because, you know, just because dad said it, I had to do it, doesn't mean I ain't good at it. Either way, this is gonna be something special, I'll tell you what. When you hear that, you know it's just about to go down. And speaking of going down, another top prospect tournament participant of last year is Cameron Moore. And I don't think these, I don't think these two ever met in the ring, Cameron Moore and Garrett Reynolds, but I could be completely wrong. I'm not too damn certain, but I'll tell you what. Cameron Moore is no slouch in this ring, man. He's no slouch in this ring, and I want to see what this guy can do. Can he twist his fate here tonight and get himself a victory? Well, only due time will tell by this thing. We have eight guys in our win one ring, something we've never done before here in Princess Wrestling. It's got to be something. It's got to be something you got to be thinking about. It's like, hey, I'm doing something. I'm being one of the first few people in this thing, and it makes it so legendary in that way of this guy being in a match like this. These guys all together being in a match like this. I can't even see what's gonna happen. Oh no. See, I knew it was eight people in this thing, but I didn't know it was gonna be this behemoth of a guy. Look at the size of this guy. One one of his legs alone is like the size of my body. Now I'm no small guy. That just shows you how big this guy is. This guy of Makarov is just a brute in that ring man a brute in that ring and he's ready to make a work of anyone that gets in front of him crush he may crush he will crush if you get in his way and it all seems the same in this guy's mind everyone that steps in front of him gets crushed top prospect tournament participant of this year a new face in the world of pure intense wrestling new face in the world of wrestling as a whole but not new, not new, new, new too, too much to the world of wrestling. But this guy has been impressive. But I want to see him get a victory here. The one thing he's missing here is a victory. And I think if he can get a victory here in this thing, he'll definitely find him his way into a championship victory against whoever the champion is at the time. Like I said, when you think about it, you have so many people gunning for this. Eight people at this point. Gunning for that. Uh oh. Speed of guy, I really wanted to see in action. I haven't really seen too, too much of. Here's one for you. You hear those beats are popping. You know, this man's ready to make work. Look at this guy. Puma the Prince back here. Formerly known as Trevor Locke. And it was last season, last year, if you want to get a real technical with it, where he was in an amazing match, a triple threat contest. It, it was so damn good. I, I, you can't even make this shit up. I mean, this guy, Puma the Prince, had oh, maybe stole that show in that match. And that was back then for that Pure Intense Wrestling Television Championship. Back when Roy Dan was holding it, taking on every newcomer that came in front of him. Alongside that, and Davin Avada, who now leads Aegis, I have three guys who were just amazing in that match and showcased their best of the best of the best in that match so technically sound so high flying when they needed to be it was so it was such a mix of different styles and now you see all these styles start to combine and speaking of combining can this man get a victory here I think a championship would be great for any of these, any of these guys here but a guy who needs a victory maybe just one more Maybe just one more to get himself and propel himself back in the set here. Back in the swing of things is Nero Galaxion. This guy is good. But where he lacks in ground style wrestling, is that's something he needs to find himself to excel in. And in a match like this where you can be as crazy as you want to be, well, get it going, Nero. You get a chance to get it going. But if you take yourself and topple yourself over that rope, well, I don't know what to tell you. I'm scared for all these guys. And I hope they remember that this is an over the rope battle over the rope battle royale. Sometimes you forget it being in the middle of a match. And these guys are so used to flying around, especially the high flying one in this thing. You gotta wonder to yourself. Who's thinking what?
big Chris Donovan, man. This guy. I'm really rooting for this guy to win this fucking thing. This guy is good. This guy is good. Yeah. You don't, I don't even know who to cheer for until this point. I was cheering for every person that was coming out. I'm like, man, you deserve a championship. You don't get a championship. And you get a championship shot. And you get a championship shot. The damn, I'm the damn Oprah of championship shots right now, it seems. Just calling them out like I see them. When I saw this man, I don't think anyone can compete with what this guy is doing. Well, look at the size of this guy. Look at this. Look at this guy. Holy shit. Chris Donovan, man. Impressive specimen that he is. This guy can get it going. Talk about guys you want to see make it and break it right now. Chris Donovan was inches away from being the uh -oh, top prospect tournament winner of this year. And speaking of someone who was also in the top prospect tournament of last year. Samson Crane. I can see him from a mile away. The only, he's the only person I can ever think of who would have a theme song as crazy as this one. Those riffs are kicking in, boy. And when you know it's time to get it going, Samson Crane is ready to get going. He has an X on his head. He's saying, I'm the target. All right, target man. Let us know. Also, a new look for this guy. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't. This is a new Samson Crane here. He said, I'm going to sport something new. Well, I know it's going to be a new look. Hopefully there's some good wrestling behind it as well. Because if you can get a victory over all these other seven guys, Samson Crane, well, you definitely deserve it. And if you go on to take on Scott Mercury, well, you damn near deserve it. I don't know who's going to win this thing, but I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. It's going to be insane. All eight guys in this thing now, ready to make moves. These guys get it going here. Oh, already this match is starting off hot. This match is starting off hot. Oh my gosh, they're tossing people around. And like I said, this is what this match was going to be from the start. Oh my gosh, it's hitting everyone with everything. This is what I was talking about here. Oh, but Glass and Experience went. Oh, guess all the way to that one. Close on right there. Back elbow there from Bateman. Big time headbutt. Oh, thumps them down the size. And, and there's so many people in this match. It's how do you keep up on what? Who's who's getting what? Who's getting hurt? Bodies in, bodies getting tossed. Oh, big time chop. Both these guys going now, Samson Crane. It's good to see him back in action. He said uh, last time you saw him, he, he relinquishing that, sh that hardcore championship. Wants to go for something maybe a little more worthwhile. He is, at least in his eyes. Goodness. He feels like that championship is worth it. Oh! He's right across the head. It shows how he can skin the cat. Watch out! Oh, he didn't skin that, though. Oh, Whoa! Bodies flying every which way. Oh no. Look at this. Put a Prince fighting out of that one. Oh, and Zaguri cracks him down. Shots right there. And he's trying to get mock up over the ropes. It's the hardest thing to fucking do, I'm telling you. Oh. Oh my gosh, he was trying to lift him up and he cracked him right across the head. And put him in Prince. Maybe out of this hammer so quickly. Oh, and knees him right off. And there goes Makarov. After all the work that's been done, Makarov's got out of this thing. Oh my gosh. Big time boot right there. And this this, this match is doing it down damn quickly. That was going to go on forever. And it's just not happening. And Donovan's just getting rid of every damn buddy. Look at this power bomb. Oh my gosh. No one gets to live, it seems. Oh, get around, fighting back with a little shot of his own. Swatted that away. Donovan setting up. Backbreaker. DT there from Samson Crane. Karen Moore, whatever the hell his head's at. Where the hell his head's at right now. Oh, he needs him up as well. Oh, back elbow. Glassdown trying to hold on. Glass trying to hold on. Oh, that knee got him as well. Just eliminating everyone with that. 
Looking back at the damage that's been done. Big time clothesline. Oh, runs right to that clothesline. My gosh, back elbow. Shots right there. Shots right there again. Donovan lifts her right back up. Slap more for a slap instead. Karen Moore says no. Says no again. Slap right there. No. Yo, that drop kicking something right, right into it. That was brilliant. That was brilliant on Cameron Moore's part to take advantage. And now you gotta see what he's gonna do from here. It's time leg drop. Uh oh, here we go. Big time elbow. Beautifully done. Save to Crane now looking at the, at the person who did it. This is him in the first place. Has him on the had him on the apron. Hanging. Speed of hanging here. Look, he'd be hanging to this. He's gonna hang ten. And now it's down to these two here. The last two to enter this damn match in the first place. Sam McCrane who's made his return. At the same time, Chris Donovan also getting things going for himself. And now you have these two of the damn near even base right at this point. Oh my gosh, those kicks to the midsection. Nothing nice. Forearm shot across the head. We have a big Chris Donovan like this down. You take advantage of every moment that you can. You do what you gotta do. Oh, shots right there, missed. No. Tossed him over. My gosh. Oh my gosh. He just booted him across the head. Donovan wins. Donovan wins. He hit him so hard. He knocked him on his ass. I don't even think Samson knows where he is. Watch this. Bang. Right there. That was all you need to know. Bodies were getting tossed left and right. But that big boot was the definitive way to show that he's trying to win this thing. Scott Mercury, where were the world was holding the belt by the end of it. You better watch yourself. This guy looks like he's coming. And he's gunning for that championship gold. And that's his first championship gold here. Man, he's gonna do his best to retain. And he's gonna do his best to, to keep it. But if Scott Mercury, where is defending that belt by the time we get to that point? Gets to that point. Oh my goodness, these guys are going to damn near kill each other. With that being said, now we got some more action for you up next in our main event. Because in our main event, in our main event, up next, when it's all said and done, when the dust settles and everything clears, just an icon has the opportunity of a lifetime to take on King Samoa. But he's not coming in alone. You know he's not. You know if he has Clip Anthony around, he's going to utilize them as much as he possibly can. Either way, that's up next. Justin Icon takes on King Samoa, the returning King Samoa, for the Pure Intense Wrestling World Championship. These two get it going up next in our main event. Don't you get click away. It's going to be something special. That's for damn sure. Yeah. Our beautiful friendly announcer letting us know this is for the Pure Intense Wrestling World Championship. And oh my gosh, I can't wait to see what these two guys are going to get doing. Let's get right to it. The wrestling king's here, ladies and gentlemen. You see him sporting his own thing right now. It was last year where Cliff Anthony returned to Pure Intense Wrestling and said to Icon, Hey, you want to get something going, man? Let's get something going. A tag team reunion. Us to us to the wrestling kings one more time. Let's make championship history here and win those championships again. They did, sure. But before all that, it was a little, it was a little crazy. Cliff Anthony said, to, hey, hey I, I, I want you in a match. If you can defeat me, you can go on your own. I won't bother you anymore. If I defeat you, though, we tag team. We tag team. Now you got to be thinking, oh, well, for the newer fans, oh, well, they got a tag team. Then. He won the match. Cliff Anthony won the match. No, Justin Icon won the match. But Icon, realizing how successful he was as a tag team champion, said, hey, I'll team with you, but if I get a shot at championship gold, I'm taking it. And indeed he did. And right now is the opportune moment. Those moments like this, that pop up every once in a while for a guy like Justin Icon. At the same time, how fresh is King Samoa right now? He probably has a lot of ring rust behind him, as good as he is. Maybe one of the best big men, one of the best agile moving big men, if you think about it. King Samoa is no slouch. And the reason, there's a reason why he's won that World Heavyweight Championship. The reason why he's holding that World Heavyweight Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, you gotta be wondering to yourself what you gotta do to win this thing when it's all said and done. But King Samoa is the one guy who I think can, have, can take on anyone and make the best of it. This guy is strong, man. This guy is impressive. And I wanna see what these two guys can do when the championship's on the line. I wanna see what Icon can do when he's in a one-on-one -on -one match. But the Santa with Cliff Anthony on the outside, you gotta be wondering if that's gonna be, have cost him interference here. It's not like Cliff Anthony and Justin Icon are, are these, these 
angels all of a sudden they've been playing a little dirty to keep those championships now that they lost those they're going for wherever the hell they can like i said an opportunity is coming knocking you fucking knock that door the hell down the pure test wrestling world championship on the line these two get it going on one side of the spectrum you have Justin Icon who knows what he's in, in that what he's ready to do in that ring a very learned Justin Icon a very encyclopedia wrestling encyclopedia this man is he, he's a wealth of knowledge if you can get a word from him usually he's, he's not very polite with, with people who are interviewing him but if you're in the back asking questions he's probably going to give it to you anyway just being to give it to you, giving it giving it to you King Samo can give you a kick to the side of the head like no one like no one is you like you've never seen in your life ever so quickly and at the same time the guy can hit you with that coquina clutch that rear naked choke that modified rear naked choke that to go in for and end it ever so quickly you gotta watch yourself around a guy like King Samoa who's just so damn impressive like I said there's a reason why he holds that championship belt and which is I wish you got a chance to see him a little more often here in pure intense wrestling but when he does show up he shows up in full force. Can sh Justin Icon show up in full force, even with Cliff Anthony behind him. We'll win this championship. We'll find out in a mere moments. Here we go. Right into it. These bohemians are making moves. At the very educated Justin Icon, very experienced, very, like I said, well documented wrestler here who's done it all over the world. You have King Samoa who's done just as much as that. And has been all over the world just as much. And it doesn't have the same learning permit that, you know, uh, Justin Icon has. That's not going to take anything away from what these guys can do. The experience the enemy between these two is, is extraordinary. I will tell you what. But regardless of such, whether you like it or you don't, these guys make things work. These guys make things work every time they get in the ring against each other. And it's not the first time they get win against each other either. Oh gosh. Go! Oh, kiss him right across the head. Did you see that? This match is already going off. And these, there's no, no more lockups here. Getting right into it. Spinning back fist. Chop to the chest. Forearm shot right there. Shots right there. Icon fights back though. With Icon though, you gotta be thinking about. Oh, oh, jeez. A slap right across. Forearm shot. And it's just dropping Icon ever so quickly. But look it. But look. But look. On the outside there, Cliff Anthony saying, hey, I'm going to right your, I'm gonna get right into your brain here. I'm going to get right into your brain. Something with that clothes on, just trying to keep him away from him for the moment. And that was the biggest mistake right there. Has him tripping across those ropes. Sent on already. Sent on already. After those shots, you think something will have to add up. He's going to add up a form to the back of the head. And kicks him off. Kicks him off. Let me go for a senton of his own. Big man has to make big moves. Both these guys are, like I said, just big boys making big things happen right here. Mongolian shop right there. Spinning back fist as he was making himself awake. Making himself aware. Trying to figure out where the hell he was in the first place. Elbow misses all of that. Icon runs on the outside. King Samoa not give him a second to rest on the inside. This is what you got, big man. So right in the eye here. Oh, this is that. Oh, shots right there. Oh my gosh. King Samoa not giving Icon a second to rest here. King Samoa going for everything of that sort. Look at everything of that sort. Later than the shots right there. All right, look at this. Look at this. Four shot though. The icon fights back. Icon fights back. Watch this. Jesus. With ease. With ease. And now look at Cliff just tossing chairs in the ring. Like the referee's not going to see this. Oh gosh. Most for all referee. One, two, no. And King Samoa's no dummy. He didn't kick out at one. He didn't kick out at two. He kicked out at two point nine. That's the that's the that, that's the difference there. And you see him trying to distract him here. No need to distract him. This oh the back of his head. That was perfect. That was smart. And you don't even think about it. You don't even think about things like that. But Icon just utilized this match and turned it around in a matter of moments. He just did you see that? That's what I mean. That's what these guys are about. That's what these two are about. Being smart like that. 
being smart in a, such a way of not even having to pick up the chair to make a sound, but you hear the sound, of the, 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 you, can, you saw the back of King Samoa's head bouncing off that. And that ring rust may be coming into play here. We haven't seen King Samoa in too much action. If anything, whoa, was able to turn things around. What's this? Choke, but Jesus Christ. You see him from that neck. Look right in, look right in the eyes of him here. No, not paying attention. Look at this. Tiger suplex and drops him. Referee tossing that chair on the outside now. Paying attention to the wrong thing though and get you caught up. And speaking of getting caught up here. Icon in trouble here. King Samo to the second rope. We did make some dives here. Made it make some flight here. Big man can make big moves. Both these guys can do the damn same thing. Like I said, so equal. Yet so different at the same time. Hope's like here could be it. Referee. Two. When it's really even a one at that point. 1.5. Coming in hot, just King Samoa, oh my gosh, he even, he even kick him, just threw his legs at him. Missed it by a mere, oh, go, oh, Jesus Christ, these guys, man. Chop to the chest. And Icon, playing no game, show the block takedown. It's like just these fucking bulls just banging into each other constantly, Jesus. Oh my gosh, he just hooked him up. Icon, you can say he's a big boy, you can say he's a little fat, even if he's got a little pudge going on. But the guy can move in this ring, and he's showcasing what he can do in this thing when it's all said and done. And look at this now, big time booty guy that time. Bicycle kick could be the beginning of the end. Icon could be spelling doom for this match here for King Samoa. Look at him wrenching at that neck now. Oh, that cracks him. He cracks him. And you saw him. He has, he, he's even, even he has no energy to fucking stay in this thing. Two. No. You saw him as the just as he fell on one knee. Utilized that knee and pushed all his weight across the other one. And got himself back in it to go for that pin. That's the kind of stuff that Icon's doing that no one else is thinking. No one's thinking like that. You have a guy like Cliff Anthony that, that thinks just like that on the outside, but he ain't performing it here. When it comes to those tag team matches, there's no one else that does it like those guys. I'm telling you. I'm fucking telling you. And speaking of telling you, all I'm gonna tell you this is the exploding suplex into the corner lands across that neck. Watch those kicks right into the face. Again, Samoa. Off the ropes and lands that sent on. Watch the strength. Look at him holding on to his arms here. Jesus. Going away with that one. Oh my gosh. He got up just to go back down. He got up just to go back down. That was rough, man. That was damn rough. And speaking of rough, here comes King Samoa again. Back elbow. Kicked on the side of the head. You got to watch out for that. That's the move that I'm telling you, you to watch out for. Sets up for something big. No, King Samoa got swatted. Now you see Icon set up for a power bomb here. Look at this running power bomb there. We saw him. We saw a few months ago. You saw Justin Icon take on Fuji Thunder Fire. Well, what do you think he got that move from? What do you think he incorporated that move from? Watching guys like like that, like him wrestle. Watching guys like him wrestle back in the 80s and 90s, utilizing that that skill set. Making something of it. Straight jacket right here trying to slow down King Samoa. King Samoa is still too well too well too well versed in this match right now. Well too still going in this match right now. Big time close on takes him down. Staying on him. So it has not slowed down by the slightest. So I'm going and chop again. Makes sure of it. Makes damn sure of it. And speaking of making sure. Look at this. Power bomb and just throws him down. Trying to wake up the big man here. What's King Samoa up to? Chop to the chest. On goal and swat it away. Spin him back fist one more. Look at him just walking around with him here. Look at him just walking around with him here. Samoan drop. And again, Cliff is going to get himself kicked out of this thing. Yeah, you know, if you're going to interfere, do it at the right time. But I don't, also don't mess up this match. These two have been going back and forth for the longest. Oh, no. No, 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 oh my gosh, that's my elbow to the back of the head. All I can do has to do now is go for that pin. You got this in the back of the, you got this in the bag, you got this in the bag. One, two, no, and King Samoa throws his shoulder up. Holy shit, man. Working on the arm here now. 
I thought that was it. He had him on his shoulders. He lifted him up. I don't think King Samoa knew what was going on. He was definitely throwing up his game. And speaking of games being thrown off, that head may be banging right now. Banging ran all over the damn place. One, two. No, and again, King Samoa throws that shoulder up. Yeah, well, you have to get something in you. You got to get something in you. You got to get something going here. Look at this. Oh, my gosh, that close. -up. He hit him so hard that he didn't even knock him damn self down. He put all, they put maximum effort into that one for sure. Sets up right here. Emma Flosh could do it. He got all of that one right there. This could be it. Referee. Referee one, two. No, and I can't throw that shoulder up too. Holy shit, man. These guys are going back and forth. Justin Icon going at it and pulling everything he can into this. Swat out of the way. Swat out of that away. Spinning back fist again. King Samoa chopped to the chest right there. Takes the big man out on the outside. King Samoa coming hot like he always does. Form shot against all of that. Shown who's the dominant one in this match, and it's been King Samoa. He shows his A game. He brings his A game. Icon bringing his as well. Icon has been close not once but twice in this match to getting a, uh, a pinfall victory over King Samoa. But King Samoa's only gotten one. Look at this. Look at this. Just playing with him because he can. Look at this. Playing with him because he can. Oh! Just toss him around, show off his strength. But that would be the biggest mistake there, though. That would be the biggest mistake there, though! But now look at this. Icon trying to pull him to the middle of the ring here. And that could be the biggest mistake. He should have just got him while he could. But he also trying to realize that rope break could have been it. No! Icon almost had this thing in the bag. Snap Mayor. Knees to the spine again. And watch him slow him right back down here. He's going to utilize his time. He's not going to try and speed through this thing. But King Samoa... Somehow, some way is still making moves right now. Oh my gosh, drop kick to the ribs. Stomps across the midsection right there. Watch this. Watch the strength on this man, King Samoa. Maybe Samoa wants to finish this. I'm not too damn sure. I'm not, util I'm not sure he wants to utilize here. He wants to utilize that kick one more time. Back elbow into a kick. He got all of it. Yeah, he did. Look at him. Look at him. Waiting for his opportune moment to strike. Waiting for an opportune moment to strike. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Kukina. Kukina clutch. Watch him. Watch him. Watch him just drop back. Bang. Right into it. Waste no damn time. Icon holding on as much as he possibly can. The submission hold is tight. The submission hold is locked in tight, man. Icon hold on for as much as he possibly can. Bosumi lights out if he can keep this up. If he can keep this up, it's the damn he lights out right here. Icon trying to hold on as much as he possibly can. He's a big guy. That's all the downside of it. Being the big guy, another big guy too. That's all the part of being a big guy too. It's the fact of the matter of you not being able to get out of this so easily because of how big you are. And King Samoa just wrenching at that neck. Wrenching at that neck here. Ladies and gentlemen, this could be it. This has to damn near be it. Hold on for his damn life here at this point. As Icon. And look at Cliff. He can't do anything to stop this. The only thing he can do is watch. And Icon hurt. You can, you can see him almost giving up on the idea of Icon getting out of this thing. Oh, back and back of the head. My gosh. Oh, stops across the leg. Cliff is ready to almost give up on the idea of Icon even staying in this thing. That's what, I gotta, that's what I'm telling you right there. These guys are going. These guys are going. One, two. No. And throws him off that time. Gets out of the, out of the ring. Look at that. Look at that. Just playing with him here. You see Icon. Looking at what he can do next. Oh, no, 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 no. You made the mistake. Oh, you made the biggest mistake right there. Of thinking that you, just because you moved out of the way. For, oh, gosh. Swat that away. Look at this cravat neck breaker there. My God. So, Kravari, cravat suplex, my mistake. To the side of the head coming up. He got him again. This could be it right here. This could be it right here. Setting up. And this is it. Look at this. Oh, that neck again. Elbow right across the chest. Elbow again. My goodness. 
Look at the face of Icon. Oh, and it's bleeding there too. Oh gosh. And he's just smacking that bloody face there. My goodness, Emerald Flosion again. He got all of that one. Let's go for the pin. Maybe not enough to go with it. Maybe not enough to work with it. And look at him arguing the referee. No arc referee's gonna get you anywhere. Look at this! Rolling neck breaker! That could be it right there. Lateral press for the victory. Pausing for the three here. No! And King throws that shoulder up again. Sumps across the spine to turn him over. Forcefully. Sense hunt again. These guys are incredible, man. I'm telling you, so. Topi Atomico back inside the ring here. Showing off that enough athletic ability when it, when it fucking matters. Look at this. Oh, gosh. Look at this. You're a nog. He waited for it and got it. He waited for it and got it. Mongolian swatted away. Oh, Yakuza kick. Big boot, whatever you want to call it. Right into the middle Smith section there. Look at this. Go for that big booty. No, he likes to go for. No! Misses that. Oh my gosh, he caught him. He got him. He got him. He got him like ankle kid clutch. If you get out of this, it'd be a damn miracle icon. It'd be a damn miracle icon. I can hold it on as much as he possibly can. I can hold as much as much as possibly can. This one has to damn it be closer over. How do you be having it closer over? You start fading after the first one. If you can survive the first one, that is. If you can't if you survive it, it's damn it all over. He waited and baited for it. He waited and baited for it. He missed that kick by mere inches. Maybe that blood got into the eyes. I'm not too damn sure. But I'll tell you what. If he's losing blood, it means he's losing oxygen. And that means that King Samoa retains that championship. Oh my goodness, what a match. You don't have to be a scientist to know these things, ladies and gentlemen. You just gotta pay attention to the match. What a match, man. These guys went back and forth. Look at this. Bang right across the jaw. Back elbow caught him flush. Bang right across the side of the head. Bang got him again. Back and forth, man. Back and forth. This was nothing nice. But when it came down to it, he locked out that coquina clutch, that red naked choke, and called it a night. Whether you like King Samoa or you don't, this man retains that championship. Cliff Anthony pissed the hell off on the outside, and how could you not be? How close was Justin I coming to winning this damn thing? Holy shit. Anyway, guys, as always, comment, subscribe. This has been a fucking battle. You got heat. I'm tired as fuck. And some of these matches have to be fucking redone because of just the, some of the way that they just went out I didn't like them I was like I can redo it I can make it better so a lot of these were redos and whatever the case may be I like to usually redos but when I know I can do a better job I just put it I just put all the maximum effort in um with that being said and done and we got uh Crash Man coming up and we have Crash Man's pay-per-view I don't know what that's gonna be just yet I, really, I just kind of got back off a giant hiatus of doing this stuff simply because it's just of not having the time and the presence of mind to wanting to do this right now um other than that I don't even know what the fuck's going on. There's so much going on right now. There's so much going on in my brain. Um, it's just crazy. Crazy, 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 crazy. So that being said and done, once again, guys, comment, like, subscribe. Hope you guys are watching and enjoying what I put out here. This was a really fun episode to do, especially early on in the first part. Of the first half of the night was crazy. Um, the second half started to slow down, but it didn't end. It never ended. I think this just shows that you know, a guy like Samoa can come back and just whoop that ass and, and bring it to the best of him. And Justin Icon is easily one of the best of him, whether he's winning or losing. Um, other than that, like I said before, uh, comment, subscribe. I love doing this shit. If you guys love and enjoy, love, love, enjoy me doing this and want me to keep on doing this, then support me by doing these simple things of doing that, clicking that like button, clicking that subscribe button, and let people know what the fuck I do. And also, let me even a comment what you guys want to see next, because you never know, you might see it. 2K19 coming around the corner, mind you, two months away. So let's get this thing into kicking this thing into Kai gear and get these pay-per-views out of the way. That being said, done. Like I said, one more time, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Until then, peace out and good shit.